Hi, I'm Andy. This is Investing Book Highlights, and you can help build this channel by clicking like and subscribing. Now on with the show. Big Mistakes was the 25th investing book I read. Written by Michael Batnick in 2018, it has 192 pages, and I made highlights on 27 pages. I heard about Big Mistakes when I was listening to Michael and Ben's podcast, Animal Spirits. We all hear about the great investments the best investors have made, but what about the ones that weren't so great? Michael covers 16 investors from the last 100 years and discusses some of their worst investments. It's so educational to learn about failed investments. Michael says this in the book. The point of this book is not to teach you how to avoid lousy investments, rather, It is to show you that lousy investments cannot be avoided. If the best investors can't avoid mistakes, then how can we? The answer is we can't. What we can do is try and minimize our mistakes by learning from those who have made them before us. The first highlight comes from page 105. You asked me what I learned. I didn't learn anything. I already knew that I wasn't supposed to do that. I was just an emotional basket case and couldn't help myself. So maybe I learned not to do it again, but I already knew that. Around the time of the dot-com bubble, instead of staying within his circle of competence, which was macro investing, Stanley Druckenmiller plowed six billion into tech stocks because he saw others making money that he wasn't. In six weeks, he lost three billion dollars. Stanley's response to this is great. He didn't learn anything from this mistake because he already knew he shouldn't be making this type of investment. He had made this type of mistake on another occasion and then repeated it with this $3 billion loss. What can we learn from this? How about when we make a mistake, make sure it's the one and only time that we make that type of mistake. I know I don't want to make the mistake of losing 50% of investment and then repeat that same mistake again. How about you? The second highlight is from page 126. Successful investors construct portfolios that allow them to capture enough of the upside in a bull market without feeling as if they're getting left behind. And a portfolio that allows them to survive a bear market when everyone around them is losing their mind. This is no small feat. Simple as this sounds, this is a very difficult exercise. We're all familiar with the inability to time the market's peaks and bottoms. On the other hand, we still don't want to buy too early or too late, or sell too early or too late. But the mistake we want to avoid is the one that tells us just wait a little more, which feeds into our emotions of fear and greed. Setting price ranges at both the buying end and selling end will help quieten that voice and hopefully still give us great portfolio results. The final highlight comes from page 20. If I buy stocks on someone's tip, I must sell those stocks on someone's tip. In preparation for this video, I read Big Mistakes again and this sentence really stood out. It wasn't a highlight I picked up on on my first reading, but it's a brilliant one. Either firsthand or anecdotally, we hear about people buying stocks because a friend or a colleague had a hot tip, or it's a company that friend or colleague is personally invested in. This is where the quote by investor Jesse Livermore is brilliant. If you're going to buy a stock on someone's recommendation, then it stands to reason that you should also sell the stock on that same person's recommendation. Because knowing when to buy and knowing when to sell go hand in hand. If a friend or colleague gives you a hot stock tip, ask them why it's hot. Is it the company's earnings? Is it the company's growth? They must know why it's hot. And since they're recommending that you buy it, they must also know when you should sell it. Do they suggest selling it in a month because it's a speculation? Do they suggest selling it in a year or two because that's where all the growth is going to be? Or do they suggest holding on to it for the long term. My guess is that most of these hot stock tips are pure speculation and those who offer them know little or nothing about the company. 
they know as much about when to buy as they do about knowing when to sell. If you're going to invest in individual companies, you've got to know why you are buying and you've got to know why you are selling. Thank you, Michael Batnick, for writing Big Mistakes. In each video, I tally up the cost of the books I've read. As this was book 25, the total cost is $694.29, and that's in Australian dollars. And Big Mistakes is suitable for beginner investing book readers and above. To help build this channel, please click like and subscribe. And what is an investing mistake you've made? Leave a comment or question below and I'll be sure to follow up. And I hope your day is full of highlights.